It's minus 25 outside, my car didn't start yesterday, and after it finally did, I was stuck on the road for 30 minutes behind a plow. So why do people still love living in Sudbury, Ontario? That's what I'll be talking about in today's video. Before we get started, I just want to say that every week I'll be uploading videos like these, so if you don't want to miss out, think about subscribing. Seeing as Sudbury has the highest population out of any northern Ontario city, there must be a few reasons as to why people love living here. The first, and maybe most obvious one, is lifestyle. There's not too many places in Ontario where you can say that your cottage on the lake is 30 minutes from your home. And the outdoor lifestyle is getting increasingly popular with things like COVID keeping people cooped up in their homes with little to do. No matter where you live in Sudbury, you're always within walking distance from a trail or a lake as this city has 330 lakes and around 200 kilometers of well-kept trails. There's the Laurentian Loop, Moonlight Beach, and Onapping Falls, just to name a few. In the winter, you can walk through Bell Park, and if you look onto Ramsey Lake, you'll most likely see people on the skating path just enjoying the outdoors. And if skating or hiking isn't your thing, there's the Adenac Ski Hill right in New Sudbury. No one will argue that nature and the outdoors are bad for your mental health, and that's probably why in 2015, Sudbury was voted the happiest city in all of Canada. The second reason why people love living here is because going to Toronto feels like a vacation. That was sarcasm, but it hit home with me and probably a few other people. What I'm trying to say is that even though Sudbury can feel like a small town because of how spread out it is, it still has everything you need. We have the largest hospital in the north, we have the largest mall in the north, we have professional sport teams, we have great employment, we have great education at either Laurentian or Cambrian, and most importantly, we have a Costco. One thing I'd like to see happen more in Sudbury, and it won't happen until COVID goes away, but it's big names performing live in concert. That's really the only thing you have to leave the city to see, as I think the biggest name to come to Sudbury in recent years was Snoop Dogg. We're still close enough to Toronto that if you want to see your favorite artists live or your favorite sports teams play, you can still make that drive. My number three reason for why people love living in Sudbury is the culture and diversity. Like I said before, Sudbury has great education, which of course attracts people from all over the world. Not to mention, Sudbury real estate is insanely affordable, being a couple hundred thousand dollars under the provincial average, which attracts even more people. If you sold your home in a big city like Toronto and are moving to Sudbury, you might even be able to afford a house on the lake. Sudbury's also very proud of their multicultural heritage by celebrating things like the Greek festival and the Italian festival. One of my favorite festivals that takes place in Sudbury is Up Here Fest. It takes place in the summer and brings together artists from all over Ontario and turns downtown Sudbury into an art exhibit all while paying tribute to First Nations people. Every year after the festival, dozens of murals and pieces of art are left all over the city. The most notable one is probably when they turn this abandoned hospital into Canada's largest mural. And my last reason for why people love living in Sudbury, it's because they know how bright the future is. The city still has a long way to go, but that just means there's so much potential. It seems like every month entrepreneurs are coming to Sudbury, opening new businesses and contributing to our economy. There's also projects in the works like a new concert slash sports arena called the KED. However, even though this project seems to jump over every obstacle it faces, it's still moving very slowly in terms of construction as there's some controversy surrounding it. But as that's happening, Sudbury's population keeps growing, bringing new people and new ideas with them. I'm incredibly excited to look back in 10 or maybe even 5 years and just see how much growth this city has experienced. Those were my reasons why people love living in Sudbury, Ontario. If you liked the video, please let me know. Subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.